Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel with another Fan TV. I got another video. If you like the content of this video, go hit that like button. Like the content of my channel, go hit that subscribe. Almost got 300 subscribers, man. Everybody that has subscribed, I appreciate you. If you're watching these videos and haven't subscribed, what you waiting for, man? Go hit that button. All right, so look, uh, Warren Sharp, uh, Sharp Football Analysis, one of the, um, I would say one of the better minds in on the NFL Twitter that I found. Um, he released a positional ranking, right? And this positional ranking is for the offensive line, all right? We're talking about all five players as a whole, the you know, some total of the group, okay? And this is, I think this is the first year he did this. He has like a 500-page um, preview of the NFL season. And I think this is one of the things that's in it. Uh, so he, But he put it on his website, okay? Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because he has the Baltimore Ravens offensive line as it currently stands, we're talking about we're projecting, you know, a healthy season as the sixth best offensive line in the NFL. Now, that is major. That is super major, okay? Now, um, they have a score, um, so I'm guessing the, the rating system is from 1 to 100. The Ravens have a score of 74. Um, the Browns are always at the top of the list with a score of 94. And the, um, I believe it's the Chicago Bears always at the bottom of the list with a score of uh, like 7. So, you know, Justin Fields, you know, I'm praying for you, man. It's gonna, it might be a rough season for you. Um, but seriously, on the Ravens thing, right? The Ravens, we know we had one of the worst offensive lines in the league last year. He actually put a stat when you uh, scroll down and actually read it. He said that Ravens quarterbacks were pressured in two and a half seconds or less at a league worst rate of 28%. So 28% of Ravens quarterbacks on pass plays, two and a half seconds, Pressure was there. All right. Now, the average NFL play is supposed to be three seconds. So they wasn't even get the time for the average play to even develop down the field. And we know that our offense doesn't really set up for a check down. So, you know, that's instant pressure almost in it when you're going against a Ravens type of offense. Now, what have the Ravens done? Obviously, they worked this whole offseason draft free agency to revamp the offensive line and build the, you know, quote unquote, the great wall of Lamar. Because we want to protect this quarterback. We want to protect the $200, $250 million asset that's back there. Now, I, I looked at the the Ravens starters for week two versus Kansas City last year. And I'm also going through the projection for week one versus the Jets this year. Now, why week two is because week one, Ronnie Stanley shouldn't have been out there. He shouldn't have played, but he did play. So he started at left tackle versus the uh, Raiders. Got hurt. Subsequently done for the season. So that's why I'm going with the week two line because I feel like that's a more accurate representation of what probably should have been out there to start the season. Okay. Anyway, so week two versus uh the Chiefs. All right. Uh only Hondro building away by left tackle. Ben Powers at left guard. Bradley Bozeman at center. Kevin Zeitler, right guard, and Passion McCurry, right uh right tackle. I'm sorry, excuse me. All right. Um now <laughs> Villanueva was bad in almost every game he played. He had a couple solid games, but pretty much every game he played, he was a noticeable weakness on the offensive line. Ben Powers might get cut this year. Bradley Bozeman's on the new teams with the Panthers, I believe. Uh, Zeitler, easily the best Ravens offensive lineman last year, uh, by far. Patrick McCurry, do it all, plug and play, solid guy, a good sixth offensive lineman. Maybe shouldn't be your starter, especially at a tackle position. Excuse me. Okay. Now, what I'm projecting for week one versus the Jets. I think Ronnie Stanley will be back. I think he will be healthy. All right. So that's going in mind. Like I said, we're, we're projecting healthier. Ronnie Stanley, left tackle. Tyree Phillips, left guard. Tyler Lindenbaum, uh, center. Kevin Zeitler, right guard. Morgan Moses, right tackle. Okay. Now, Ronnie Stanley's premier, premier left tackle went healthy. And we're hoping that this health is, um, is here now and it's here to stay. And that um, I, w I actually just saw a picture of him um, running in the sand, I think I believe it was. So, John Harbaugh said that Ryan Sanders in the process of not recovering from the injury anymore, but getting back in football shape. And that's a big thing. We're not just talking about rehabbing the injury, but we're talking about getting in football shape, which means that the rehab is nearly done. Now, there's probably something that still need to be done to get him 100%. But now we're just worried about football shape, football stamina, football endurance. So, that's good. Tyree Phillips is a guy that, um, now this job could very well go to Ben Cleveland. This was the one position I believe was a toss-up. But 
how you feel this guy who's a super talented, um, I believe, uh, offensive lineman hasn't really got a chance to stick at a single position. Every time he wants to play guard, somebody gets hurt, he, has, he gets shuffled around, moved around, and he hasn't really had a chance to find a home on the offensive line. I think left guard could be his home. Tyler Linderbaum, generational center, first-round pick, a guy that um, was shooting as a first-round pick the entire draft process, okay? And the Ravens snagged him up at 25. Kevin Zeitler, like I said, best offensive lineman on the team last year, bar none, and really one of the better offensive linemen in the NFL last year, if we're being completely honest, especially at the guard position. Okay, and Morgan Moses, right tackle. Super solid. You know, cross my fingers when I say this knock on wood. He doesn't get hurt. He plays generally every game throughout his career. And is a guy that has put up solid numbers at the tackle position um, pretty much throughout his his, his, uh, his football career. So, Morgan Moses is a big upgrade over Alejandro Villaweva at right tackle or even uh, Patrick McCurry filling in at right tackle. He's a, big, he's a big, big upgrade. So, the Ravens have transformed his offensive line where they were one of the worst in the NFL. Because the Bears offensive line was still pretty bad last, bad last year, so they could probably still have that 30-second spot. But the Ravens were probably in that 28 to 30-second range in terms of poor offensive line play. So to go from 20 from 28 to 32 to number six in a projection is big time. Now the Ravens need its offensive line to play well, obviously. Every team does. But the Ravens want to run the football, they want to set up play action, and they want to hit you deep. These are all things that require great offensive line play. All right. So I ha- I'm excited for the offensive line this year. I really am. I think that barring any injury, the Ravens really do have a top 10, top six, as you know, Warren Sharp has it, offensive line in the NFL. And that should be enough to protect Lamar Jackson, protect this run game, and uh, boost the passing game to an even higher level. I think last year we saw a passing game even with poor offensive line play, that was becoming unlocked. That was becoming more dynamic, more explosive. All right? And I want to see that built upon. I don't want to see us revert to what we used to do because it's comfortable and we're used to it. Let's push forward. Let's keep progressing. Let's keep um, expanding the passing game while still having a dominant run game. Um, last year, I think the Ravens were something like 54-46 uh, pass run. So I would like to see that ratio kind of stay the same. I think they will run probably a little bit more. So we can go 52-48 um, passing. So, you know, more passing than running, but somewhere where it's still kind of balanced um, in the middle. I think that's where the Ravens have a real key. That's the real key to success, is something that's going to propel this team further on into the season. Now, um, it's good seeing that analysts um, view this offensive line as an upgrade. You know, uh, last year, it was tough. Like like the stats said, two and a half seconds or less pressure in the quarterback space 28% of the time. All right. Big number. Right. Worse in the league. One of the worst in the league. Okay. Um, they have corrected that. EDC set out on a mission to correct the offensive line, and he did that. Um, the coach said did it as a whole. You know, drafting, even drafting a guy like Falele, who probably won't play this year as much. But that's still a show of good faith that we're trying to put talent around you, Lamar Jackson. To keep you upright, keep you protected, right? Because he's a guy, he's a quarterback that's going to pass from the pocket and needs to be able to trust that um, he's going to have time to throw and deliver the strikes down the field. So I thought it was a good article to uh, read. I'm going to link it in the description below that if you want to check out where the uh, the rest of the NFL stacks up in terms of offensive line. Now, 74, I believe what the score was, doesn't sound like the most impressive score, but coming from the Ravens where, where they were, like those teams on on this you know sharp score list that's like um, twenty four and below, their rankings are almost all single digits. So let me see what it is real quick. One second. So yeah, so we had a team like the Miami Dolphins who have a twenty five. So um, they're twenty four on the line with a twenty five score overall. So that means you know below that we're talking about teams with under twenty four score. All right, so to go from that to, you know, plus 50 points and plus um, up to 74 is a big, big jump, big improvement. Now, the only thing that's going to hold the Ravens back is health. So hopefully we guys have a healthy season, um, healthy offensive line play, because this offense has a chance to be special. Anyway, it's your boy Gabriel. There's another fan TV.